If you are dealing with premature ejaculation, you're not alone. Help me last longer is one of the most common things that I hear, and I'm here to help. In this video, I'm going to give you a strategy and four moves. That's why you come to me. I'm Amy Color. I've been named the best intimacy coach because I offer real solutions for men and couples navigating intimacy, sex, love, relationships, especially those things that doctors and therapists really can't help with. I've delivered a popular TED Talk. I've written a book, The Huddle, How to Score in Sex and Love. I've got a program called The Intimacy Game Plan where I take my players from junior to varsity and I help couples transform from roommates to playmates. I hear, you took me from a boy to a man. <laughs> you transform by learning real skills and getting real confidence. So please hit that subscribe and notification bell. Stay with me. I have so much to share. Let's get into it. Premature ejaculation is not a medical issue. Pills, pumps, and injections are not going to help. They are numbing cream, but you don't want to numb your most favorite member. Trust me on that. It's a setting on your nervous system. You're like, oh, you're nervous. Is it going to last? What if it doesn't last? You might be thinking, I better hurry while it's still here. That's a lot of performance pressure. And that kind of pressure causes anxiety, which brings on the hormone known as adrenaline. And adrenaline is a dick killer and a total mood killer. Mm -hmm. Premature ejaculation is actually from a lack of experience, skills, and confidence. Sure, you know what to do, how to have sex, but we think of sex as penetration and an orgasm. So that's why it's good for you because you're getting hard or not even, but you're having the penetration, you're having the orgasm. But I'm going to take you from good to great. How do you do that? Just like an athlete, you have a practice, you learn some skills, you learn some moves, you're prepared, you know what to do. You know how to be present and you might have a lot of experience but still be at a junior level <laughs> let me tell you a story about one of my clients i'm just going to call him hunk he was such a hunk and he had lots of experience everybody thought he was a great lover because he always had lots of women and lots of girlfriends he could get them but he couldn't keep them but now hunk has met the one and he's saying help help me last longer Hunk didn't really care before because he had a reputation. He was always getting girls. It was fun to get the girls, but now he's afraid of losing this one. And that's why he wants to make it last. He's thinking, how can I make it last when I can't make it last? <laughs> so if he's feeling that way, you're not alone. And it can last. Lots of people get into relationships who have premature ejaculation. And here's what happens. There's this quick story. One of my couples, we'll call them Peter and Pan. They were daggers. There was lots of tension and arguments between them. He had premature ejaculation and they had ignored it for like 10 or so years. When they did have sex, it was that, you know, all the two seconds of it. And he would say, oh, well, I need to roll over. He knew he was disappointing her, but he wasn't that worried about her. Because he was satisfied and he's like, okay, I guess this is it. And Pam was like, okay, I guess this is it. What is she going to do? Tell him how do we fix this? And he would roll over. She'd get her vibrator and take care of herself. They love each other, but neither of them were feeling satisfied in their relationship because the way you feel about your intimate life is how you feel about your relationship and all parts of your life. They both wish that it's going to fix itself, but wishing doesn't fix things. Action does. So they joined my program, the Intimacy Game Plan, because we heal in connection. They learned to be lovers. These things take practice. And they were actually doing something about it together. Hunk, remember my client? A total hunk. He was really embarrassed. He had a lot of shame about it, even looking for help. But seriously... You're not alone. If you would go to a doctor, look for help, or you talk to a therapist about it, but you're not talking to a therapist about it, that's why you would come to me because you want help. And trust me, when it comes to intimacy, everybody needs help. Even hunky guy's girl, we'll call her honey because honey, what a honey. <laughs> 
her too. Most of her life, she's been faking orgasms, as many women have. And she was just hoping that he'd automatically know what to do. But he's also hoping that he's automatically going to know what to do about his premature ejaculation. These things take practice. So what Hunky did was acknowledge. Acknowledge that it's happening. Don't pretend that it's not happening. Don't ignore it. Don't pretend that it's never happened before. So he said to her, listen to me, I want this to last meaning the dick, the D, <laughs> and us. I want this to last. And don't figure it out. To get... You learn how to play football by playing football together. That's how you learn to make a great game. That's how you learn to make a game last, not by doing it on your own. You have an intimacy game plan and a coach, and they learn together. Yeah, there are practices and things that he can do to prepare so that he can be better when he's actually in the game or when he's with her. Those are your skills that you practice, but you practice playing together. That's the best part. So here's what you have to know. Sex is a whole body contact sport. You got to get your head in the game. And I'm going to tell you how. First, I want you to focus on the pleasure. Focus on your team instead of the equipment. How do you do that? Slow down. Mm -hmm. I want you to keep your panties on, honey. I mean it. <laughs> I had Hunk and his honey keep their panties on. Sexual exploration happens outside of penetration. If you're rushing to get in there and then it's bad, then you just spend the rest of your relationship dealing with the anxiety, is this ever going to get better? How is this going to get better? Now this is what we're expecting. But when you keep your panties on, you've gotten rid of the expectations. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Two, huddle. Mm -hmm. Athletes huddle to get their head in the game. It makes a mind-body connection. And also these huddle sounds mm -hmm, turn off the expectations, the mind, and turn on the body's language of pleasure. These little hot, hot sounds mm, 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 are the sounds that a football team actually uses while they're in the game, while they're in the action, right? Mm -hmm. And this is how you explore your pleasure sounds. I also want you to know while I'm here that men and women are multi-orgasmic. So even if you have premature ejaculation and, and you went off too soon, that's not the end of the game. The game still goes on. Remember, this is a team sport. You are not alone. You're not alone in having premature ejaculation, nor are you alone on the field. You're both there. Remember Peter, Peter and Pam? He'd finish and she was, was there alone. They both felt like they're alone. Remember, you're in it together, okay? There's lots you can do. Here are some moves. Pinch the tip. Pinch the tip, especially while you're making those huddle sounds. Mm -hmm. Why? Because remember I was talking about the nervous system? Mm-hmm and how it goes zing, and that's the adrenaline. When you're huddling, you have control over your nervous system. Mm -hmm. You're telling your body you're okay, you're here to do this. So it works, it controls your nervous system and helps you control your equipment. The next one is funny. I want you to slap it. Seriously, when you think you're about to blow, try slapping it, she can do it for you. <laughs> this might make it last longer and it might make it go off, but you're not going to know until you try. And I assure you, it will be fun. <laughs> and in my program, I have a whole lesson called the ozone. Yes, we explore the orgasm zone. There is so much to explore and people don't know how. That's why I'm here. But in that lesson, there is an exercise called the lower light bulb exercise that's amazing this helps with equipment skills you actually learn how to squeeze and twitch it you have control you can get harder you can last longer you can control when you finish these exercises have been proven and working with thousands of men for a very long time and when you do them together and get to practice them as couples that's when it's really good you are a giver and receiver and intimacy is about sharing pleasure and these things take practice. And the practice is the best part. I have a saying, EG, PG, every game is a practice game. Mm -hmm. There's always more, more, more. You don't have to figure it out. 
and wishing isn't going to make it happen. If you want something to get better, you got to take action. Learn a few moves and play with it. This is the best part. Hunk and his honey. <laughs> Learn to share our whole body sensual pleasure together while he was learning and practicing exercises that'll help him last longer. And while she's practicing exercises that'll help her have access to her ozone. Telling you, practice is the best part of being in an intimate relationship. And when you know what to do together, it's a whole lot more fun. Sound good? Mm-hmm. I'd love to know what is your biggest takeaway. Leave me a comment in the comments or please leave me a heart in your favorite color. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you stay with me. And are you ready to stop trying to figure it out? Are you ready for real, real solutions? Apply for the intimacy game plan. Go from junior to varsity. <laughs> Go from roommates to playmates. If you want to have a winning intimacy team, that takes plan. And the best coach. If you want to have a great fitness, you have a great coach, right? You want to have a great team, you have a great coach. You're going to learn these things together, how to get to the pleasure zone, how to stay in the game, how to make the game great, how to make the game last, how to finish when you want to without the performance pressure. You're going to focus on whole body pleasure. I have a step-by-step -step formula that makes you confident lovers and partners so that you feel loved and confident where it counts. This is everything. The intimacy game plan and a practice and a coach. Stop trying the same old moves. They're not working. Stop feeling anxious and start feeling loved. You'll find a link in the description that'll go take you directly to my calendar where you get to talk to me. And together, we'll give you a strategy and find out if an intimacy game plan is right for you. In the meantime, stay connected to yourself, each other, and me. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.